Hello, welcome to LTX classes. In this series, we are continuing the prelims oriented in specific the Hindu analysis. All the important articles which are very relevant for UPSC prelims would be covered here in detailed and lucid manner by writing on the page so that you would absolutely feel the presence in the class. Clear? So yes, today date 12, 8, 2022 and the articles are going to be discussed by Srinivas. Clear? So let's have the discussion on the important articles that have appeared in today's The Hindu. Clear? Check this. These are the articles to be explored in today's The Hindu analysis. India slams China for blocking move against JM Deputy Chief. And next, Karnataka High Court sets aside the creation of ACB. And third one, Jairam Ramesh opposes provisions of wildlife bill. Next, youth employment declined in India says ILO report. Next, war and USA inflation hitting global demand, says MSME exporters. Clear? MSME exporters are saying so. These are the important articles we are going to deal today. And you have to check at last. Stay tuned with us. We are going to discuss one MCQ and we encourage everyone to participate in dealing this question where we shall be reviewing your answer clear so let's don't waste our time coming to our first article this is our article that is india slams china for blocking move against jm deputy chief so first of all see this article is very important from gs2 polity perspective clear gs2 polity perspective and here we are going to discuss one organization which is related to terrorism clear yes so terrorism is such a thing where the persons who involves uh, by using violence they want to clear all their solutions means they want to get the benefit by using the violence at any cost actually this organization is named as J E M or it is also known as Jaish A Muhammad. Clear Jaish A Muhammad and the head of the organization is Mazud Hazar. Okay, Mazud Hazar. Mazud Hazar is the person who is the uh, main person or important founder of this Jaish A Muhammad terrorist organization. Their main goal is to enter into India and they want to create the ruckus and violence in India and they want to create the liberation of Kashmir. Clear? They want the liberation of Kashmir from the integral part of India. As now Jammu Kashmir is completely integral part of India and Pakistan always encourages these type of organizations and in this article we are going to deal related to the person who have come here. His name is Ashgar. Clear? Ashgar is brother of Mazud Hazar. Clear? So he is important person in many UN designated crimes organizations funding the money for terrorist related organization. And he has so many actions or sanctions against him. First of all, we shall see what this person actually do and after that we shall discuss what happened and what should be done clear yes so first of all see here and the person is uh, Prof Ashgar he is brother of Jaisha Mohammed he is brother of Jaisha Mohammed and here you can see he planned and executed that is hijacking of Indian airplane IC814 clear what happened in 1999 1999 India caught Mazud Hazar and he was arrested but immediately after that his brother Ashgar planned the hijacking of airplane IC814 and cleverly executed that and they wanted the liberation of his brother they he clearly emphasized that he would leave the flight IC814 
if his brother is left along with two other terrorists in 1999 clear yes india listen his words why because in that plane everyone is an indian clear so as most of the indians are there india wanted to uh, yeah go for exchanging of this masood azhar with that members in that airplane clear and after that he did parliament attack and after that he also done the 2017 pulwama terror attack clear pulwama terror attack where our 40 plus our soldiers died because of his action clear so he is mastermind behind all these things and he coordinated with other organization that is let lashkar e taiba clear so he was arrested of course he was arrested in pakistan in 2019 as per national action plan on terror and convicted for terror financing he was arrested but till now we don't have any response whether he is still in jail or he is in bail or for international sake he was arrested and later he was released no, no single information was out about his whereabouts till now so india clearly doubts the actions taken by pakistan against these terror organizations as he is very cleverly against india he can seek all the protection and promotion he can seek all the protection and promotion from the pakistan uh, as inter service intelligence isi and pakistan military clear so yes these are the things then what will happen at international stage if someone does all these terror related activities clear india brought one committee at unsc that committee known as un sanctions committee of 1373 un 1373 sanctions committee clear or un committee against terrorism both are same actually the sanctions committee the sanctions committee consists of all the five permanent members and all the 10 non permanent members have to be accepted clear these five permanent un unsc un security council un security council five permanent members have to be accepted no one should go against the uh, words of the other if why because all the actions would be taken based on consensus based on 100% consensus from every of the member who attended there clear are you getting so this 5 plus 10 have to accept right now what happened india asked uh, unsc sanctions committee to designate this ashgar as international terrorist clear if unsc designates any person as international terrorist if he is outside the nation has to have responsibility in arresting him and after that all his assets would be seized and proceedings over his assets would be done and he cannot use any of the pennies linked with his accounts all would be gets frozen are you getting and he won't be allowed to travel outside the nation he won't be given any of the visas or he won't be given any of the products clear so this is the range of unsc sanctions committee from unsc sanctions committee both individuals and institutions as a whole can also be named as terrorist organizations clear yes of course mazood hazar uh, was made the international uh, terrorist after uh, wishing for 12 years india asked every country to support its move for nearly 12 years and in recently in 2019 mazood hazar was designated as international terrorist clear so here see i said this five permanent members have to accept right in this five permanent members who are they these five permanent members are usa uk france russia and china here the recent brought of sanctions committee to designate this ashgar the brother of masood hazar was brought by both usa and india 
all these four nations accepted except china and the other 10 non permanent members to accepted the words of india and usa except china everyone accepted in designating this person as international terrorist so what would happen see right now it might take some long term so that's why the article is named as india slams means india cancel the china for blocking means it is asking and it is saying that china's actions in unsc sanctions committee is wrong why because they brought the designation of terrorist against this person but china simply refused their proposal sir why why because the world knew that there is good relations with pakistan clear both pakistan and china have good relations so that's why uh, china is going for designating this person as international terrorist see china's poor record on terrorism at unsc clear yes first of all we also here seen the let right so the founder owner of let is hafiz said see initially he was holded on listing hafiz said and zakir rahman lakwi before finally relenting past decade clear and we are trying on him and mazud azhar was listed as international designation terrorist but china blocked this move in 2008 to 10 and after that india brought again in 2016 to 19 and at last in may 2019 china accepted in designating this person clear and after that the designation of uh, this said okay hafiz said brother in law abdur makki clear abdur makki in june 2022 and it is valid on this december okay so the designation of this person uh, this abdur makki is also very important and his term is going to be completed by december clear so why because china accepted because of implementation of some term limits but as of now if mazud azhar brother was designated as ashgar for life long he is going to be termed as the international terrorist person clear so these are the issues that we want to discuss and this ashgar is very dangerous and very criminal he is mastermind of most of the attacks that happened in india that might be the parliamentary attack or any of the things clear so yes so we can say clearly that at international stage india right now can use the position or the please use this word that is the double standardness the double standardness of china against these type of persons means at the international stage china is not designating the persons as international terrorist but at domestic level and at the other forums it is clearly telling that everyone has to come to fight against terrorism like these type of words are actually coming from the mouth of china and this standard is called double standardness and this is very dangerous and this is very unethical practice at international stages clear so this is the article and you should know and uh, jm jaish e mohammed let lashkar e taiba these are the international organizations which fund which fund and also gives moral and people's support to the people who goes against india clear they want to clear india they want to go against india at any cost clear so this is the article and right now we are moving for the other article i think i made clear all these things that have appeared in this paper clear all these things would happen so right now it is the time for india to seek and to project at international stage the face value of china in designating few persons as international terrorist i i think i made some sense in this clear yes we shall be moving for the next other article Let's check our next article it is karnataka high court sets aside the creation of acb clear acb means anti corruption bureau clear anti corruption bureau you might ask 
sir this question is related to state right so is there mandatory to read the state related articles also no it is not mandatory to read the state related articles but here we just want to discuss something that has come in this paper clear so see the article is very important in gs2 polity perspective let's make the clear about the complete picture of this article see the problem of corruption is not only pertains to india clear it is the global phenomenon the scope of corruption is a global phenomenon right so to deal the corruption cases and india has brought something the special act that is prevention of corruption act prevention of corruption act that is 1988 under this act if any of the public official commits any corruption he would be charged accordingly clear so that is the main intention of prevention of corruption act then see what is happening at world level we are seeing this problem clear at world level we are seeing this problem so that's why to create a better thing at global stage nordic countries actually there are nordic countries like norway sweden finland and denmark these are called the nordic countries norway sweden finland denmark please go through the map these are called nordic countries they have come with some system that is called ombudsman system ombudsman system this system was came to check the graft what is the meaning of graft graft means corruption only to check the graft ombudsman system has come a clear so that's why what we are doing the corruption was uh, india was very intentional in stopping the corruption so in 2014 india created one act that is called lokpal and lokayukta act lokpal and lokayukta act of 2014 so clear so in this at national level we have to create the lokpal and at the state level we have to create lokayukta clear but karnataka see karnataka has come uh, the body of lokayukta in the a year of 1984 means prior to the coming at national stage the body like lokayukta was already existing in karnataka but this was given high powers to check even against the chief minister so to clear all these things karnataka government has come thing with some executive body that is to be designated as acb means anti corruption bureau okay by bypassing this legislative act that has created in 1984 in karnataka karnataka government has come with executive resolutions on creating the acb anti corruption bureau clear so that is why here what they are telling the anti corruption bureau is going to check every of the graft cases against public officials and they are under the direct control of chief minister of karnataka so are you getting what they are doing they are keeping the power of acb within the hands of chief minister then what if if the same chief minister is indulging in the corruption there is no any other body that checks the graft cases against chief minister and this is the main reason why lokpal and lokayukta has come under the lokpal and lokayukta act lokpal was given to check few graft cases regarding the prime minister and lokayukta chief minister was given clear to check the graft cases against chief minister to lokayukta fine so that is the reason as the case has went to the high court of karnataka high court of karnataka create uh, set aside the creation of acb and it wants the upliftment of lokayukta act and it wants the pure implementation of lokayukta in the state of karnataka without any issues are you getting so this is the main article this is the main article so court has sidelined 
the executive body of acb by giving more importance to assembly created statutory body that is lokayukta clear at national and domestic stage also lokpal and lokayukta are very new bodies that have created to check the corruption that is prevailing in the public offices clear so this is the reason the body has come and as high court set aside the creation of acb we just want you to know the things that high courts can put aside the executive matters even at the investigation of corruption clear are you getting here high court is not doing any wrong high court is asking the acb to sideline and to give more preference to lokayukta so investigation should be done on the basis of lokayukta constables clear and not under acb who are under direct control of chief minister of the state clear yes that is fine so we just want you to know and so that's why you have taken this article let's move on to our next article so see this is also the very important article and yet this is very small article and see when it comes in full editorial pages we are going to cover it from very background and basics right now our main intention is to cover all the prelims oriented topics right so see jairam ramesh opposes the provisions of wildlife bill clear so this is very important from actually the part gs3 that is environment clear that is gs3 environment so since uh, the lok sabha passed the wildlife amendment bill okay before the passes of wildlife amendment bill from the lok sabha it has sent to the joint parliamentary committee clear so parliamentary standing committee uh, was put and the committee discussed the objected provisions see it was headed by jairam ramesh and he is clearly telling the provisions which are against the interest of the state the wildlife bill should be amended so that the wildlife actually promotes the sustenance of the forest clear so that is why but the important provision that these persons are objecting is see the bill allowed the transfer and transportation clear the transfer and transportation transfer and transportation of any animal for a religious for a religious or any other purpose or any other purpose clear are you getting the main intention actually the original uh, the bill actually cancels the transfer and transportation of animals from one place to other place but here the bill is accepting the transfer and transportation of any animal for religious purpose here they want to designate or use the provision for elephants and you know for many of the religious purposes elephant is going to be used if you are using elephant for religious purpose it should not be treated that the animal is going to be gets hurt clear the wildlife protection the wildlife protection amendment bill has come to promote to promote the mainly to conserve and to protect the animals from the abuse of the persons clear from the abuse of the persons we have come the new amendment bill the wildlife amendment bill clear so yes so here uh, uh, now the persons from the opposition actually arguing that if you are taking or transferring and transporting the animal only for religious purpose it is fine but you are also adding the word for any other purpose without clearly defining what is the meaning of any other purpose the any other purpose might be any of the things clear so it, as it was loosely defined we are not going to accept the same clear so these are the words of the persons these are the words of the persons they are clearly telling that we are not going to accept if you are not willingly coming with the word the removal of any other purpose or clearly putting the definitions on 
any other purpose or it might lead to the discretion of the executive clear so that is the reason and government has said that we are coming with this amendment bill to protect and to promote wildlife and not to harm any of the animals clear so that is why they are saying that we just want to amend the wildlife protection act of 1972 by increasing the number of species the protecting actually under that 1972 act we just want to increase the number and we just want to go with there is one organization at international stage that is sites sites means convention on international trade in endangered species clear so this is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora means all the flora related means plants related and all the fauna related fauna means animal related all these things are going to be clearly checked and curbed by the persons clear so uh, so so here this body is there the sites body is there and this has uh, come after the convention clear so this is very important this body is very important to go with the rules of sites india right now willing to amend the wildlife protection act of 1972 and we also know that wildlife is very important to conserve the biodiversity of forests forests without wild animals cannot sustain why because they are the very important uh, organisms or animals that are actually helping for the uh, uh, maintaining the good health of forest clear so this is the article we just want to uh, make you know though it might be a short article if the whole things come in perspective we are going to discuss in detail very important provisions of this wildlife amendment bill clear so right now we are going for the other next article next this is our next article youth employment declined in india says the ilo report this is very important from gs3 economy perspective clear in economy employment is most important topic first of all what is this ilo ilo means international labor organization it is this is the global organization which actually strives for the welfare of labor and it verifies and comes with the reports the employment data the unemployment data the quality of employment and everything would be checked by this international labor organization this is the global organization and it is clearly th- telling that the working hours and the employment losses in india was very severe in both 2020 and 2021 clear uh, see compared with the situations of 2020 2021 situations are vastly deteriorated clear so, which means that it has come down very aggressively from 2020 to 21 here it is clearly telling the most affected are youth youth means uh, from the age of 15 to 24 the article or ilo is carrying these persons as youth and among the persons youth are the most sufferers because of covid and everything and post pandemic the growth rate of employment in this youth stage is very less why because it might be because of many reasons the persons who crossed 21 24 are treated as the adults for labor related activities the participation of labor have increased in the adult stage that itself provides for the not requirement of youth in this 15 to 24 stages clear so not only india at world level the issue has come the article clearly telling that the total global number of unemployed youth is estimated to reach 73 million means by 2022 73 million youth across the world are going to be face the shortage of employment and after that this has yes of course this has come but in 2021 the picture actually increased from 2020 it is 73 and right now it is 75 million in 
2021 clear in 2021 this has increased the 2 million mark clear yes and the youth employment ratio participation rate has also come down declined by 0.9 percentage clear so these are the words of the report and it also warns the unemployment rate in young people mainly in asia and pacific region actually it has come okay the unemployment rate is at alarming stage of 14.9 percentage means for every 100 people of unemployment clear or for every 100 number of people 14 persons of this age 14 to 15 persons of this age are going to be unemployed rather these people needs to be employed but right now they are uh, actually standing in the position of unemployed clear yes, so this is the main reason and the report also added that school closures because of covid 19 from last 18 to 24 months clear so actually most of the people are worryingly joining again the schools why because the students might have lost something that is very important for examination and classes and right now these people might not be willing to schools again and again so that they just want to seek to support their family and they want to work as the local laborer so the things of trafficking and the things of supplying human people to the various states might become the harsh reality in future for some time this is the main article so the article international labor organization actually putting things in this perspective clear yes so these are the main reasons so the equal access to online resources were also given clear but of course no persons of this community are actually utilizing at full productive potential clear? the main article just want to emphasize on the youth got more affected because of covid related unemployment issue the adults however at any cost they can get back their uh, uh, post or get back their employment post covid 19 but youth are still struggling to get into the admissions of any of the industries clear so these are the reports of ilo regarding youth employment declined in india and it also projecting that yes at every stage in uh, world level or global level also the rate of unemployment at youth is increasing but alarmingly it is increasing in india these are the words of ilo clear so i i think i have made some sense and right now we are going for the next article our next article is war us inflation hitting global demand says msme exporters clear so first of all see uh, the article is very important from gs3 economy perspective clear gs3 economy perspective war and us inflation hitting the global demand the war between ukraine and russia started four months back and still it is in continuous mode because of war situation the demand at global level has reduced and after that inflation in us was spiked because of war of ukraine and russia and after that because of post covid effects the inflation in us is actually reaching the peaks so when inflation is increasing what is the meaning of inflation the average of prices the average prices of products keeps on increasing if one price of the product is 10 rupees if it is increased to 14 or 15 the demand for the product actually definitely comes down because of coming down of the demand of the product the demand for the product comes the exporters or the producers would feel the difficulty why because they'll get the money they'll get the profit as long as demand in the market survives if demand comes down because of any of the issues the producers or the exporters have to suffer 
the wrath or the problems clear so here we are actually dealing about the msme sector what is this msme sector msme sector means the micro the small and medium enterprises micro small and medium enterprises these are the enterprises where they actually provide the employment to the people are you getting they actually provide the employment in the economy employment in the economy most of the labor force is in this sector and the most of the labor force are also the unorganized people only the sector is responsible for 40 percent of exports from india clear the sector is very important for 40 percent exports the exports are very crucial for the nation as it would bring the important foreign exchange reserves right so 40 percent of exports are done by msme sector and more than 38 percent of employment is provided by this industry so the msme sector is very important for the normal running of the economy so because as the demand has come as the demand has come the sectors are facing the problem so that's why these msme exporters are asking for government intervention sir right now what the government can do government might provide the credit support to these msc's msmes the government might support by providing huge demand means the purchasings can be done by government and the government can export the products in whatever may be the cause right now they are seeking the intervention of the government to save the life of this msme sector as whole clear so because of every issue the globe is facing most of the problems regarding economy clear so as india is in this very critical condition it has to increase its diversification it has to increase the diversification there is huge demand from the chinese products because of its very less cost because as it is having very less cost the prices of the products from china is actually sit in very low condition fine but right now the labor and the employment at the world stays are willing to do any job for lower prices but uh, people are unable to provide the unemployment to the employment to this unemployment category because there is downside of the demand because of downside of the demand there is no huge demand so unemployment is also coming down so employment is also coming down the poverty ratios are also increasing up the exports are seeing the lower condition and because of all these things government should come government should enter and it has to try to provide some measures for the support of the economy why because see if government provides the employment to the unemployment the employed people would get the salaries if they get their salaries they would increase the demand from these people so if demand comes normally the prices of products increases then these exporters or domestic suppliers would get demand and they can get all the things in done clear so this is the main article we just want to discuss and you should know all the things related to msme sector fine these are the very important articles that we want to discuss in today's newspaper regarding the hindu prelims oriented session let's deal one mcq clear coming to our mcq today check the question consider the following statements clear consider the following statements we are picking one article from this uh, class and we are going to deal the question consider the following statements first statement all the UNSC both 
permanent plus non permanent members assent is required assent is required are you getting so all the unsc both permanent and non permanent members assent is required to declare to declare the individual the individual as international terrorist clear as international terrorist in this unsc sanctions committee in this unsc sanctions committee only individuals can be designated individuals can be designated so here choose the correct option choose the correct option that is take only one b only two c both and d none see are you getting so consider the following statements all the unsc both permanent and non permanent members assent is required to declare the individual as international terrorist and in this unsc sanctions committee see in this unsc sanction sanctions committee only individuals can be designated as international terrorist so choose the correct option only one only two both none clear see i have clearly explained all the important provisions in us unsc sanctions committee right so i think you can able to answer this question and i wish everyone to participate and try to put the answers in the comment box where i shall be reviewing your answers clear yes thank you